What is good everyone and welcome back to some Gold Coast Titans career mode on Rugby League Live 2. We're in the last two rounds of this NRL season and we're taking on the Sydney Roosters. You can pause and take a look at that lineup if you want. And we're going to have a look at the Roosters lineup here. 2013 NRL Premier, so it should be a pretty good lineup here. Um, they got Minicello, Tupo, Pearson Maloney, Sonny Bill. Got a couple bench players and a couple first graders there that I have no idea who they are though. But getting into the gameplay here, we're going to look to make a line break up the left with David Mead. He's going to get wrapped up 20 metres out. We need to hit a hole here with a uh, Sydney Rooster trying to get back on side, but no avail. We did make it to the 10 meter line though, and as you can see here, Jamal Idris is going to absolutely wreck. I think that was Mitchell Pierce. I believe that was Mitchell Pierce that he just barreled over with a shoulder charge, and he's going to put the ball down, as you can see there, for the first try, and he's going to turn four points into six. Because there's no way that we're going to miss that conversion from right in front. On the back of that try, we're looking to uh, add some more points to the board here. Trauma with a little scoot from dummy half before getting the ball out to Mead again. Damn, Mead has been like the MVP of this Titan season, I do think. Wouldn't surprise me to see him get a few votes in the Daly M polls. Third tackle here, we're looking to go out to the right. Albert Kelly wrapped up about 15 metres out from the try line. Looking to go back to the left here, but Mitchell Pierce is going to pick the pass off. But he gets run down by, you guessed it, David Mead. And about 20 minutes into the game now, the Roosters trying to make something happen, but knock on the ball. And all of a sudden, we've got a fresh set of six to work with here. Little screw here from dummy half, but it didn't really work out. But thankfully, we didn't lose too much ground there. I don't think we lost any ground at all. Just um, a bit of a flat footed start there as Miles is going on a monstrous run, barreling over not one but two Sydney Roosters before getting the cheeky offload away. Another flat footed start here, but it could work out in our favour. No, it will not. Anthony Don driven over the sideline before he can put the ball down for a try. And Roosters here about 30 metres out from our try line and see a minor injury there to Takarangi and they would have been away for all money there if they did not pass the ball back inside. And I believe that was Maloney putting the kick up and caught in goal back to the 20 for the restart. And looking to, I don't know what that was but um, we've made a bit of a dog's breakfast out of it, knocking on the ball and just inviting the Roosters back in to score. And they've got about five minutes to do so here, 20 metres out from the try line. And Sonny Bill gets wrapped up about 15 out. Long ball out to Maloney there, and he gets driven back by Takarangi, who is still on the field. Another long pass here, floating out to... Sam Moa, I believe that is. And they're going to put it in the kick. I do believe, no, they well, they did put in the kick, but it was not with Mitchell Pierce. Fielded safely, and that's pretty much going to be all the action from the first half here, going into the break. Up six points on the Sydney Roosters. And that's not a terrible first half from us, though. There are a couple errors there, and we almost let the Roosters back into the game. We defended very, very well. We're just going to have to try to cut down on crap like that and not invite the Roosters back into our half. And one thing I do want to improve on as well is our attack, so hopefully we can put some more points on the board, put the Sydney Roosters to rest. I'm not even sure they're in the top eight, so this could affect their hunt to make the finals as Idris making a break up the right. Almost wrong foots the defender, but not enough on that. Not enough source behind that step as Caesar with a pass to Awani, and he gets tackled 20 meters out from the try line. We're going to go right here. Miles with another big hit on the Roosters' defense. Jesus. 
And taking a look here, Henry with a pass to Anthony Don, and this time he's going to go over for the try, and he will not be denied this time. He will not be carried over the sideline here. Beautiful little ball to replacement centre Bo Henry, and I think he drew the attention there, drew enough interest from James Maloney to uh, allow Anthony Don to stroll in untouched. And tough kick from the sideline, win going against us. Conversion unsuccessful from Aiden Caesar. And that's pretty much going to be the entire game here. Bit of a boring second half, if I'm going to be honest. Nothing really happening that entire game. Just that those one or two plays after the second half, that was pretty much everything that happened there. And we defeat the Sydney Roosters 10 points to nil as Nate Miles picks up man of the match. Um, there was, as I said, not much happening in that second half, just a lot of running back and forth, if I'm being honest. But a win's a win, I'll take it. And we're going to simulate this game here against the 14th place to Melbourne Storm. Jesus, Melbourne's struggling big time this season. We pick up the win, 13 points to nil. David Mead picking up man of the match again, MVP of the season, what did I say? And Luke Douglas kicking a field goal, what the hell is that? And we're not done here, we're looking through the awards. Brad Stewart picking up Dalian and Proven Summons Medal of the Year. Quick look at the team of the year here, Jamal Idris making it in the center position, but not too many other Titans featured there. Travis Waddell, Ben Barber picking up Captain and Rep Player of the Year, Kili Iwate and Jacob Loco tie for Try Scorer of the Year, and Kieran Foran picks up Point Scorer of the Year. One last look at the ladder here, and the Colgos Titans are the 2013 NRL Minor Premiers. Just scraping in, if that draw against Souths did not happen, we would have been second. Elsewhere on the ladder, the Panthers um, picking up the wooden spoon here, only four wins on the year. Melbourne surprisingly struggling, taking 14th place. Broncos, my team, picking up 13th. And we're going to leave it there and get started on the finals where we'll be taking on Odd1X's Warriors yet again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.